Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're going to continue talking about sunlight and weather. Lesson 3.3 .3, showing ideas about warming over time. For this lesson you will need a partner or somebody to work with. Now if you don't have a partner right now that's okay. I'm going to teach you what to do and after the lesson is over and someone comes over to spend time with you you can show them the game that I'm going to teach you how to play today, all right? So don't worry about it right now. If you happen to have someone next to you, uh, you can practice playing with them and I will give you time to play. All right, so let's begin. So I'm gonna teach you a game, it's called playing the sunlight over time game. Over time means when time passes. The longer the time passes, the longer something is going to cause an effect to happen. So we have a question because remember that we are being, we're scientists and as scientists we always have a question that we need to investigate and find out what the answer is. So why is Earth's surface warmer in the afternoon? That is the question. That's what we're thinking about today, okay? So everyone let's go put our thinking caps on and we're going to start thinking imagining, predicting, and investigating. So for today, our game is called, again, the sunlight game. In the sunlight game, I am going to have a sun, and then my other card means no sun. So when you look up here, you see this right here. Usually when we see something like that, it means no, like a sign. So here is no sun. So here we're thinking sunlight and no sunlight. Sunlight and no sunlight. And this is the game. So in this game, you see again sunlight and no sunlight and it says the sunlight game i will hold up a sign one side of the signs one sign is going to represent the sunlight which is this one and the other one is going to represent no sunlight see the line okay so if you're playing with someone else one person is going to be sunlight and sunlight the sunlight person is going to run across and tap the palm of the surface. So that will be the surface, like the earth's surface. Surface students will lift their hands up and say, I am warm. You see right here where she has her hand up? She's saying, I am warm. So go ahead, let's pretend that you are the surface and lift your hands up in the air which means I am warm. I'll wait a minute for you to do it. Let me see you, I can see you. Your hands should be up in the air. Awesome. Okay, now let's pretend the no sunlight. So the no sunlight is gonna say I am cold. So I'm gonna be the no sunlight. You can put your hands to your side of your body just like the girl in the picture, all right? And now you can say, I am cold. Go ahead and say it, I wanna hear you. Awesome, good job. So that's how we play the game. So afterwards you can show someone and say, can you be sunlight? And then you can say, I am warm. And then say, be no sunlight. And then you can put your hands to the side like the little girl and say, I am cold, all right? So later on, you can tell me all about how that game went. Let's go ahead and continue and see what it says here. So now, we know that if sunlight keeps shining on a surface for a longer time, the surface gets even warmer than before. Isn't that amazing? All right, let's see what else we can learn today in this lesson. So here, we come to the part in which we are recording new ideas about warming over time. 
right? Warming over time. So we have learned that as scientists, we record. So I have added to our chart, so we have space to show our new ideas. What could we add to our chart to show why the surface is warmer? So here we have what we know about the weather, types of weather. Here we have sunny, cloudy, rainy, windy, snowy. We have very hot, hot, warm, cold, cool, I'm sorry, cold, very cold. And now here we're looking at sunlight on Earth's surface. We got night, we got morning, and we have afternoon. On this chart, we're showing shorter and longer times is hard because we cannot see time, right? We can predict and we can have ideas. So here we see that it's warm in the morning and then in the afternoon, the longer the, the sunlight is around, it becomes hot. Here, it says, when we gather data with our warming over time models, we use lines like these to show about shorter and longer times. They show how much time has gone by. So this is what we're looking at, how much time has gone by. We can add labels, two lines to make our ideas clear. So here we're adding labels and we're making longer lines. So here it says shorter time and longer time, okay? So we have been trying to figure out the answer to this question. Once again, why is Earth's surface warmer in the afternoon? So our key concept on this is the longer light shines on a surface, the warmer the surface gets. So this continue, we keep saying that over and over again. The longer the sun shines on a surface, the warmer the surface gets. Okay? Let's see what else we're going to learn. So here, I am going to introduce a mini book. Now, some of you might have this book, some of you might not, and that's okay. We're going to look at this together. We've learned that scientists draw and write to communicate what they have learned. So we're gonna take a look at pages and together we're going to figure out what the missing information is. I'm gonna give you time to think about it and together we are going to come up with a conclusion and put this book together. So again, if you don't have this book, that's okay. Uh, we're going to work on it together. And afterwards, if you want to make your own book using this information, you can do that with any paper. So here it says, Playground in the Sunlight. So here we have, it says, if you remember that we have our thermometer, and in our thermometer we have very hot, hot, warm, cool, cold, and very cold. And when you looked at the thermometer, you learned that we have different colors, and I'm gonna have that for you, so don't worry about it. So here it says, it is, we have to fill in the space, it is blank, the sun is not shining, the playground surface is blank. So we know that when the sun is not shining, the playground surface is gonna be a particular temperature all right so let's go to the next page it's going to be the same page but this time we're going to be thinking of the colors and we're going to fill out 
the information. Okay, so if we go back, let's see. Okay, so it is, what color do you think it's going to be? Is it going to be hot, cold? So if the sun is not shining, think about what is it going to be? Is it going to be hot, cold, warm? I'm going to give you a minute to think about it, right? And then I'm going to show you the colors that you should have come up with. So think of the colors and think about the thermometer. I'll give you a minute to think about it. Is it going to be cold or hot? I'll give you a minute. And let's see if you came up with the same conclusions as me. Let's think. All the colors. Okay. So let me ask you. Did you think of very cold and purple? Did you think of cold and blue? So could the answer be, it is cold, the sun is not shining, the playground surface is very cold, could that be your answer? Okay, let's try another one. It is blank. The sun has been shining for a short time. The playground surface is, what do you think those two colors are going to be? Let's think about that. Could it be, think of the colors. Okay, let's do this together, okay? It is cool. The sun has been shining for a short time. The playground surface is, yes, warm, you're right. That is right. All right. Let's do another one. Okay. So here we have, it is blank. I'm not going to give you the answer yet. The sun has been shining for a long time. The playground surface is, okay, what two colors can we think about? And what two temperatures can we think about? I'll give you a minute. Let's think about the thermometer, think about the colors. Okay. It is hot. The sun has been shining for a longer time. The playground surface is very hot that is correct very hot because it tells us that the sun has been uh, shining for a longer time so the surface is going to be very hot you did an excellent job in the next lesson we will keep working as weather scientists we will think about everything we have learned about surfaces warming over time. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Remember the game that I taught you how to play? Okay, so it's warm or cold, hands down at the bottom. So those are games that you can play with someone in your family. And remember our color words. So we learned uh, cool for green, right? We learned 
Yellow is warm. We learned hot is orange. Very hot is red. Cold is blue. And very cold is purple. We also learn sunshine and no sunshine. Oops, I got it backwards. All right. So I want to remember all those things that we learned, and we're going to be continuing to learn sunlight and weather on Lesson 3.4. I'll see you on the next lesson. Bye-bye. Have a great day.